Recently in one of the popular restaurants of Udupi I had tried puri and chana masala I liked that recipe and wanted to try that recipe out and make a video for you guys It's nothing but green chana masala Folks welcome back to Count and Cook this is Satvik Shridhar Suvarna without any further ado let's begin the cooking In the first step we have pressure cooked approximately 300 grams of kabuli chana garbanzo beans or chick piece for four whistles with some water and salt as per taste before pressure cooking we had soaked this kabuli chana overnight in some water to make the masala into a wok like this goes approximately 50 grams of ghee or clarified butter when the ghee melts goes nine green cardamom pods and a teaspoon of black pepper corns a tablespoon of coriander seeds and a teaspoon of cumin seeds For an enhanced taste, 3 tablespoons of cashew nuts and saute for a while. A tablespoon of homemade ginger garlic paste and saute until the raw flavor is completely gone. 3 chopped onions and to speed up the cooking of onions, go a teaspoon of salt and saute for a while. For the heat, 6 to 8 green chilies would be enough. When the onions have turned translucent, here goes the only powdered spice in this preparation, a teaspoon of turmeric powder and mix well. For the tartness, one chopped tomato would be more than enough. Finally, goes in a bunch of chopped cilantro or coriander leaves. Now that the coriander leaves are well cooked, of course the flame and allow this mixture to cool down a bit. We have taken out the water. Kabuli chana was cooked in in another bowl like this. This will be used while grinding the masala instead of water. Once cooled down transfer the masala into a blender jar like this and if you like the video please give this video a like and also share it with your friends By pouring in the water kabuli chana was cooked in turn on the blender and blend into a smooth and thick paste like this Now transfer the entire paste into the same pressure cooker kabuli chana was previously cooked in Turn on the stove and give it a mix Add rinsed water from the same jar masala was previously ground in and give it a mix and don't pour in too much of water. Check for the taste now and since the gravy is still thick to our liking here goes some more of the water and here we are going to add a teaspoon of salt more. We use salt while pressure cooking the chana so we didn't have to add too much salt later now when the gravy comes to a boil of course the flame Hey green chana masala is ready do try this recipe out at home and let us know how it turned out for more such interesting upcoming recipes like this please stay tuned until then ciao goodbye take care